Are you born into evil, or are you uh, made into evil? Made. I was. You'd about to finish that. And like, I don't think. Okay, so let's change evil born. to violent. Okay, violent. Yeah. Or is it both? In my see, that it's nature versus nurture is what this argument is, yeah. right? Nature is basically saying you are born, you are biologically dispositioned, you are chemically predispositioned, that sort of thing. Or are you nurtured into that? It was the way you were raised, your environment, um, poverty, stuff like that. I think I'm it's- I'm gonna have to say- See, that's I'm the thing, like, raised, nature still... versus nurture is so stupid, in my opinion, yeah. because it's like, how could you say versus? It's nature and nurture, in my yeah. opinion. It's not yeah. versus, because both exist at the same time, because you can make the argument. We were talking about it, uh, that, that one scientist who did a study on psychopaths because you're not uh, you're not a psychopath until you commit a crime mm -hmm. but all psychopaths have the exact same chemical thing in their brain where like certain i don't know whatever it doesn't turn on or whatever but the scientist uh i can't remember the exact numbers i think he did it on 50 students or whatever this the brain scan or whatever and himself one out of those 100 you know let's go with 51 were found to uh one out of those 51 had the exact same makings of a psychopath. It was the professor. He was the one without the chemical in his brain. But he wasn't considered a psychopath because he never committed a crime to officially call him a psycho. But he had the makings of it. Yeah. So in that case, that shows both nature and nurture. Because he was chemically predispositioned to be a psychopath. But he became a professor because of the way he was raised. Yeah. And he never committed a crime. Which makes sense because, like, for men, like testosterone and everything, that's that's a real thing. That's something that's gonna happen for you. Oh, just, just remember though, Avatar, that. Avatar director thinks it's a toxin. Oh, remember that. Oh, oh God, geez. we're not gonna talk about him. No, and, no, no, and, we can't. We can't. Ah, uh, sheesh. Anyway, <laughs> I honestly but, thought or, or think that it's environment that the environment causes I, you to see. I have to agree, just because. Yeah, we have like that. Um, we have the we have the uh. I'm losing my, my, my the chemicals. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but like for example, you have men who become feminine because of the environment and completely shut that whole side down. Just like oh, they start like, acting just and all that other stuff like a female and stuff. Right. So mainly, I might have to guess because of the environment. So I don't necessarily. I think it is a little bit of both. But the environment you're raised or grown up in or whatever, I think that has the biggest effect on you than being born as whatever. If yeah. that makes sense. I agree. I think environment plays the biggest role. Yeah. yeah. But I do think there is something to be said about nature. Oh, yeah. Too. I 100% I agree with you where environment is the biggest. Like, I think about it as like a pie chart, right? Mm -hmm. Environment's probably like 60, 70%. And then like, you know, the rest of it, whatever you want to call it, like the 30 or, you know, 40% is nature or something along those lines, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think environment is definitely the biggest. So, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> what do you think, Scott? I was th you guys are right, but I was thinking, like, anybody could be a psychopath. Like, they could be raised either from a good home. And, and that, that yeah, them. that goes back to it. True. Like, yeah. If you're born in like a rich, like how we were talking earlier, you know, like if you come from a rich family and you still end up doing all these things. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's that, the thing. That's the part I can't explain. Yeah. They're psychopath billionaires. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. I think it was just that all psychopaths had this exact same thing in their head, but just because you don't have that thing doesn't mean you can't be a psychopath. Yeah. yeah. It was just like all the psychopaths had that same. So if you're, you know, if you're you have that part of your brain that gets shut off or whatever, then you're predispositioned to be a psychopath. But just because you don't have that doesn't mean you can't be a psychopath or just because you have that doesn't mean you are going to be a psychopath. Is it like either. feeling for other human beings? It was, it's whatever, is it the amygdala or whatever? It's the one that has empathy, okay. like your chemical yeah. empathy in it oh, or whatever. No, none of that. Cool. I'm not that deep into it. I mean, fair. I want, I want to learn a lot more about it, but like, Honestly, psychology is the best subject in school. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely want to learn yeah. about psychology. 100% recommend. Like, even if you aren't going to college um, or you are in high school and you don't want to take psychology, psychology in high school is a joke. So, I mean, <laughs> but um, 
just research psychology and not just like look up youtube videos like here are seven things to know like about psychology like genuinely read like studies done and stuff because like psychology is the most important subject because it deals with actual human and i'll tell you it's going to come really useful in the real life world world. psychology is one of the only subjects that i will say is actually useful because all you deal with in real life is people yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. in every job you want to be a manager people uh you want to you know be a personal trainer people you want to be a scientist guess what you're standing in front of people doing conferences all the time you yeah you want to be a salesman you're going to have to know sociology you're gonna have to know psychology the human brain is the only subject that can legitimately be applied to every single field you're in even if you're doing something online you have to know the psychology of your viewers and like stuff like that when it comes to color and perception of things and stuff like that but i guess big corporations don't understand that big corp big corp big corp (laughs) (laughs) 